Welcome back friends. So last week we did a video on RV toilet paper. Is it really necessary? And we had some surprising results. You can go and check that video out. I'll leave it in the description box below. But a lot of people commented and asked, did we use treatments for the video? And no, we didn't. We just used regular water with a little bit of blue uh, food coloring just to get a little bit better visual effect. But it, it does leave a great question, do the treatments make a difference? So a lot of these treatments claim that they help break down the tissues. So I thought it'd be well worth the time to go back and test a couple of those papers again, this time using holding tank treatments and see which one of the holding tank treatments works the best. So you see we've got three very popular holding tank treatments in front of us. We currently use the porta packs um, We chose those. They look cool. They just drop them right in. They're super easy. But we're thinking about moving to the Happy Campers. We've heard lots of great reviews on Happy Campers and it's uh, about the same price per treatment. It's supposed to break things down a lot better and also eliminate odors a lot better. We really don't have many odors with the porta packs I can't really complain about these but I've heard really great things about this one and I thought it was worth a review. And then we have the Aqua Kim over here. Not a big fan of this one. It's got formaldehyde and alcohol in it. So I don't think we'll be using this one, but for those of you out there that do like it, let's see how it does. So the first thing I have to do is I have to measure a little bit. All of these treatments are meant for 40 gallon tanks, okay? Well, we only have one gallon of water each here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out a 40th of one treatment size for each of these gallons of water and then we're gonna let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna to do the tissue test again. A lot of you asked for Charmin, so we're gonna put Charmin in there as well. We're also gonna to test the Scott's RV, which was the biggest disappointment, because that's what we use and we really like it. And we're gonna, of course, do the Great Value brand, which won the last video. So, okay, first up is the Happy Campers. So the Happy Camper Scoops weighs 29 grams, so we're only gonna need obviously a 40th of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make it one gram. So I'm here, let's see what we got here. Not quite. So there's one gram of the Happy Campers, all right? So we're gonna take that, kind of looks illegal. I'm gonna dump it in here. Dump it in our one gallon. Okay, next up is the porta pack The porta pack weighs exactly 30 grams. So I'm going to open it up here and dump out about a gram. Oop, that's going to be too much. Oh, nope, that's just right. One gram right there. All right, next up is Aquachem, and I'm wearing gloves for this one because it tells me that it can cause severe burns. So, yeah, I mean, I just can't imagine us actually using this one, but I need about six milliliters. So... That's about it. That's gonna be about six milliliters. Okay, we've let this stuff sit overnight and some interesting results letting it sit overnight. It looks like, from what I can tell, at least the Porta Pack and the Aqua Chem have, the, the, they've got some residual sitting at the bottom and I wonder if they do that on purpose, if they're designed to do that to help break down the tissue. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our containers and we're gonna dip out two cups of each and put our tissues in and we're gonna let it sit all day long. All right guys, so here's what we have. We have the Aqua Chem here, we have the Happy Campers here, we have the Porta Packs here. So I'm gonna put about two cups of water, our, our treatments in all of these and then we're gonna do our everyday value in one of them. We're gonna do our Scott's RV, I really want this stuff to work. It's, it seems awesome. And we've had some comments saying they've had different results than our last video, so we'll have to see. And then we'll also have, oh, excuse me there, Charmin. All right, everyone, so we're gonna let these sit. And so far, not much difference from the plain water test. Obviously, we I just finished putting all of these in. You can see that the great value, again, is breaking down almost instantly. The Charmin, not yet. And the 
Scott's is doing about the same thing. Okay, before we get started with the breakdown test, I was thinking last night and this morning, no test of tank treatments would be complete without talking about and testing odor control. And how in the world do you do that without completely offending you guys and violating community guidelines for YouTube? So, what I did this morning, all right, I TT'd in a cup. Yes, we call it TT. We have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. That's what we call it around here. But I TT'd in a cup and I broke it up into four equal parts. I took these solutions here and I put equal amounts of that solution into the TTs, okay, the three different cups, and I left one as a control. So I let it sit all day long. So we know when waste sits, it makes things a little worse. So I wanted to give the, the, uh, the stuff a chance to really do its work. So what we did after that, once we got home from work today, I did a blind smell test to see if I could smell the mixtures without the urine versus the mixtures with the urine, and we have some pretty cool results for you. All right, guys, so as far as odor control is concerned, we have a clear winner, all right? Brooke was putting the different mixtures with and without the urine under my nose, and I could never tell which one had urine and which one did not when it came to Happy Campers, all right? So the winner there is Happy Campers. Uh, second place was Aqua Chem. I think of the three times I smelled the different mixtures, I think one time I did get a whiff of urine with this one, uh, but there's a, a, maybe one other time where I couldn't smell any urine. And then port pack I could smell the urine every single time. So um, it definitely does a better job than the control, of course, but I could definitely tell the urine was there. So first place, as far as odor control is concerned, is Happy Campers. Second place, Aquachem. Third place, port pack All right, guys, so next up is the breakdown test. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fast forward through this clip, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give each of these a few turns and uh, we'll start with the Aquachem and move this way just to kind of simulate uh, bumping over to the, the dump station. Okay, so last time we actually declared a winner, but we're going to switch things up a little bit and let you decide who wins. Leave a comment in the comment section below. The purple over here is the Porta Pack. The clear in the middle is Happy Campers. And right here we have Aqua Kim. And then as far as papers are concerned, we have the Scots is the bottom row, middle row is Everyday Soft from Walmart, and then the top row is the Charmin. All right, we'll let you decide who wins that one. What a little things that are a little different from the last test. The Scots certainly broke down much better with the chemical treatment. So, um, as far as chemicals are concerned, it does make a difference with the Scots. I think the Everyday Value is about the same. And I think the Charmin didn't break down much at all. So for us, I think we're going to switch from the Porta Packs over to the Happy Campers just based on seeing this, but mostly because of the odor test. I sincerely couldn't smell the difference between Happy Campers with TT and without TT. So if you like videos like this and you want to follow us along in our adventures, uh, make sure to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.